Welcome, Intro to College Algebra students. Today we are going to be looking at percents and percent change. Percent and percent change. So make sure you have your notebook or a sheet of paper for your binder. So most of you should be familiar with the fact that percents are just ratios out of 100. So whenever you see a percent, I know you know it, but you got to keep in mind that this is out of 100. <clears throat> so when you see something, for instance, like what is 20% of 350, maybe that's like a price of an item that is that doesn't end in 99 cents. It's just $350 even because why not, you know? Uh, you, then you can set that up by thinking of 20% as just 20 out of 100. So you're going to take your percent, make it 20 out of 100, and then you're going to set up a proportion. So what is 20% of 350? When you set up your proportion, you need to think, where am I going to put my 350? Well, this is the total. That's out of 100 total, and this is the part. So is $350 the total? Is it the total price or is it the part? Like in this case, maybe it's a discount, a 20% discount. In this case, 350 is the total price. You're trying to figure out what the 20% part is. That's what it means by what is 20% of 350. So next thing you wanna do is, especially if you're doing this without a calculator, you would need to simplify this down a little bit. So 20 out of 100 is the same as 2 out of 10, which is the same as 1 fifth. So I'm gonna simplify it down as far as I can because it's gonna make my calculations a lot easier. So 20 over 100 became 2 tenths, which became 1 fifth. And then 1 fifth equals X over 350. Then you can do this one of two ways. You can either cross multiply and divide by five, or you can think if you're really good at your multiplication tables, five times what is 350? So if you wanted to cross multiply and divide, you would do one times 350, and then take 350 divided by five. And I'll, I'll let you work on that if you wanna do it that way. But what I see here is five times something is 350. Well, I know five times seven is 35, and this is 10 times bigger, so instead of five times seven is 35, it must be five times 70. And then you do the same on top. One times 70 is 70. So that means 70 is 20% of 350. So that's how you find percent of a number. You could also look at this as the decimal form. You can do 0 0.2 times 350. I personally think that's easier for some numbers and harder for others. So let's try it that way. So let's look at percent in decimal form. And then you can do 20% is 0.20 or 0.2. In fact, I'm just gonna make it 0.2. <gasps> Watch my magic pen! It erases! These are the coolest. And then you can just take 350 times 0.2 and do it that way. And either way, you're gonna end up with $70. So that's another option. I think this is more consistent because it works in some different types of problem situations that this might be a little bit more complicated for you to think about. So um, actually, let me show you one of those. Let's try one where I think the ratio is gonna work a lot easier. You can say $40 is 30% of what? $40 is 30% of what? So this time I have my percent, so I'm going to write 30% as 30 out of 100. And now $40, this time $40 is 
It even says that $40 is 30%. So $40 is the part this time, it's not the whole. So here's my part, here's my, uh, I called it a total before, didn't I? Let me still call it a total. So I'm trying to figure out what the total is. So like maybe I had a 30% discount on something, I saved $40 and I was like, wait a minute, what was the full price? What was it before? So I'm gonna do that way. Um, so there's my uh, proportion. And I'm just gonna do the same process I did before. I'm gonna simplify this down as much as I can just to make my calculations easier. Then I'm gonna cross multiply and divide. So 30 out of 100 is the same as three over 10. And that's as much as I can simplify. So I'm gonna, let me write that down. Over X. And then I'm gonna take <clears throat> 10 times $40. So multiply those, 10 times 40, that's 400. And then I wanna divide by three, so 400, let me do it over here. 400 divided by three, that's gonna be super fun. And we're talking about money in this particular context, so I'm gonna go ahead and put 0 .00 for my cents. So three goes into four once, subtract, and then we're basically at this point gonna have a bunch of threes because three times three is always nine, which always leaves me with a one left behind, which means three into 10, three times and so on. So you can keep writing this down, but do you see how the pattern just keeps staying the same? It's not gonna change. It's just gonna be still threes, so. Okay, so $133.33 is my total. So. You could say $40 is 30% of $133.33. Okay, so that's percent of a number. Now we're gonna look at percent change. Percent change is tricky for people sometimes. Let's look at another example. Let's say, um, the, since y'all just took an SAT, the number of students taking the SAT increased 50%, um, and I'm making up that number, okay? I don't know how much it increased, probably more than that, because we had like almost every senior taking the SAT the other day, it's crazy. The number of students taking the SAT increased 50% from, oh, let's say 250 to what? Okay, so, so percent change, if it increased 50%, you have to find this percent of the original, and then since it's an increase, you then add. So. We want to find 50% of 250, 50% 50 of 250, which is the same thing we were doing here, like 20% of 350 and uh, so on. Same type of question. 50% of 250. Then we want to add, because it was an increase, we're going to add whatever we get to, it's not dollars, it's students, it's people. We wanna add that then to 250. So let's start with 50% of 250. Now some of you can probably do that in your head. 50% is just a half, what's half of 250? It's 125. I'm still gonna go ahead and set it up for you. So we have 50%, that's 50 out of 100 equals and is 250 the half or is 250 the whole thing? And 250, of course, is the whole thing. And then simplify as much as possible. 50 over 100 is really 5 over 10, which is really a half. And then we need to take 250 divided by 2, which is what you could have done before. If you just kind of thought about it that way. In any case, you get x equals 125. Now, that's not what it increased to. Notice we had an increase of 50%. That means my final answer needs to be bigger than 250 because more kids took the SAT. 
So I am now going to add this. This is 225 more students, okay? Then I wanna add that to the 250 original amount. And I get 375 as my new total. So if the number of kids taking the SAT increased 50% from 250 to 375. Let's try another one. I'm gonna make it a decrease this time. Uh, let's say a price decreased from $300 to, let's say, $200. What was the percent discount? Okay, so what was the percent discount? So first of all, what was the discount in dollars? We paid $300 originally, and we're now paying $200. So we must have saved $100. So we know we saved $100, but that's not a percent. I need to turn that into a percent. So I want to put $100. This is my part. This is what I saved. Now what was the total? Be really careful here. One common mistake is to put $200 as the total. But that's not actually the total we started with. That's what we're paying now. That's not what they took the discount from. The total they took the discount from was 300. So 300 is my original total. This is what I wanna put there, the original amount. And then I wanna turn that into a percent. And remember, percents are always out of 100. It's because it's a percent. And then I'm going to figure that out. Now, hopefully you're looking at that and going, oh, that's a third. And a third is really 33.3 repeating percent. But if you weren't sure, you could have done cross multiply and divide just like we did on the other problems. So this is a percent change, it's a 33.3% decrease. Let's try one more. Let's say the price of a phone, a popular phone, and I can't remember how much the iPhone increased when it, we got that iPhone X that was like $1,000. What was it before 700? I'm gonna say it was 700. I'm just gonna pretend. The price of a popular phone changed from $700 to $1,000. Something like that anyway. I'm sure you'll correct me if I'm wrong. What was the percent change? Okay. So first of all, think to yourself, did it go up or did it go down? And obviously it went up 700 to $1,000. That's crazy. So we know already that it's an increase. You may want to write that down just to kind of make sure that you put the correct numbers in your proportion and so on, and we'll get to that. So we are looking at an increase. Now, how much did it go up from here to here? From $700 to $1,000, it went up by $300. So we know there was a $300 increase, but that's not a percent. I need to turn it into a percent. So I'm going to start with my increase which is my part, kind of like before when we put the decrease on top and then the original price on the bottom. Now we're gonna put the increase on top. So the change goes on top, $300. Why did I write it there? $300. Now make sure that you put the original price on the bottom. Don't put a thousand on the bottom. It didn't go from 1,000 to 700, it went from 700 to 1,000. So you need to put 300 over 700. 
And then we're going to turn that into percent. Remember, percents are over 100. So this is your original total. Put 100 right there. And then this is the part that you need to find. We're looking for this. So once again, simplify your fraction. So 300 over 700 is really 3 sevenths. And then let's cross multiply and divide. <clears throat> so 3 times 100 is 300. And then divided by 700. Not 700. Why did I say 700? 300 divided by 7. That's better. Okay, so three does, 7 does not go into 3, so leave that. 7 goes into 34 times. It gives us 28. Subtract. Bring down the 0. I'm going to go ahead and put... I'm going to just go ahead and put two decimal places. 7 goes into 20 twice. It gives us 14. 7 goes into 68 times. Let's just do one more. And then 7 goes into 45 times. And then it would still keep going from there. So I'm going to go ahead and round that. Let's see. The price, again, increased by 42. Let's make that 42.9%. Which honestly makes me think I was probably wrong about it only being $700 to begin with, because that seems like a lot. That seems crazy. But who knows? I'm not an iPhone person, so I didn't really keep track. In any case, that's how you find percent increase and decrease and percent of a number. Please let me know if you would like some small group help. I will start planning those right away. And thanks for watching.